Who was your star in that picture? She says young guy named Eddie Murphy, I think it is. Oh, Christ, I hate him. <laughs> the kid with the filthy mouth. Yeah, he's the one. Oh, he's the voice. <laughs> he's the voice. He can't act. He has a filthy mouth. And he's ugly. You can just imagine an actor like Eddie, who's great at doing imperson impersonations, when he's limited only to being able to change his voice and maybe his expression to create a character. Here he's actually doing it in the makeup. He is the character, but that being said, it's not enough to just look the part. You've got to believe it, and that's what Eddie brought to the character once he was free enough in the makeup to realize that he could be that character and get away with it completely. In the beginning of the process is actually I had to take a, a life cast of Eddie. We actually make a mold of his head so we can duplicate it, so I have not just one of those. And with a plasticine clay, I sculpt the new face on this life cast. The way that the makeup's done, though, it's not all one piece. It's not like a big mask. There are multiple pieces. So I pre-painted the pieces because the makeup process takes a long time. And so once I had all these pieces set up, then it's a matter of gluing it onto Eddie's face. We had fun. I mean, Eddie actually was so into it. He, he went around the lot at Paramount, started flirting with secretaries. And everyone bought him. Everyone bought him as this old guy. The design is basically based on Rick's father-in-law, who's not Jewish, by the way, but what the hell. I actually used him to double the, the guy. He's in a couple of shots. I got to say, John was great. He treated him, you know, like a, a star. You know, you got him in his own little dressing room and was really, really kind to old Nestor. He was an old man at the time, and, and it was kind of the highlight of Nestor's life, you know. But the makeup is very much based on Nestor and a little bit of my father as well. It's my, kind of my father's forehead, you know. And, but what happened was when the studio saw the tape of the old Jewish man, they said, it doesn't look like Eddie Murphy. We can't tell it's Eddie Murphy. You know, it's like, well, you know, we're paying him all this money. We want to see Eddie Murphy. I'm Eddie Murphy. I am the young black movie star of Paramount Pictures. Oh. She's the <laughs> I'm real proud of the stuff that I did on Coming to America, but especially the old Jewish guy. I mean, that's, I think that's the, the best makeup in, in the movie. And it's actually the one I worked the hardest on that I was most concerned about and most frightened about doing. But I still think it holds up as a pretty decent makeup. I mean, this day and age now we use different materials. We use silicones and things to help get a very realistic looking flesh. But I think even with the old foam rubber, it worked out pretty well on Eddie, and I'm still really quite happy with that makeup.